This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. There's going to be miles and miles of trails for people to bike, hike. Um, it's really about connecting the whole region, the whole section of the city up there. Take a look here. Hundreds of acres in northwest Reno will get new life as a public park after a city council decision this week. We'll show you the plans in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 5 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Remington. Wendy has the night off. Thank you for being with us. Okay, this is the site of the former Northgate golf course you may remember. It's been empty since 2009. But yesterday, the Reno City Council unanimously approved a plan to turn it into the Sierra Vista Park. Take a look. 220 acres to be exact. It's located again in northwest Reno, just east of Somerset, bordered by Glen Eagles Drive and Beaumont Parkway in the north and Somerset Parkway in the southwest. Ariana Bennett joins us now live at that site with the details. Pretty exciting, Ari. Yeah, as you can see behind me, this lot is really just a ghost of its former self. You can see native and even some invasive plants have taken over where the course used to be. But city officials do have high hopes for what it could turn into over the next 10 years. It's a great opportunity to have open space preserved in a, in a part of the city that is being built out by residential and commercial. So that's a, it's a great way to preserve that land. Now, the city bought the property in 2011 for $2.5 million, but didn't have a set plan for what to make of it. Now the council is ready to move forward with its rehabilitation. They're planning to add biking and walking paths, a playground, an amphitheater, an archery range, and a nature loop. But all of this, of course, takes money, and the council has secured a $134,000 grant to put in the perimeter trail, but Bass says the rest of the project will have to happen in phases as they get the money. It'll be kind of a public-private partnership as we, we work to complete the park. Now, construction on the first phase of the project, putting in some of the tra those trails, will start this summer. Covering the big story live, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News.